Hey guys, welcome back to Ween Weird. So today I thought of showing you how to use the serial monitor for an 80 tiny 85 and get some useful data and other things. So let's get started. For this we need to connect to the computer, right? But we don't have the USB interface for it. What to do? Here comes it. We use an Arduino Uno as always. So this can be used to communicate with our computer and to the 80Tiny85. So let's see. One thing to note is that our 80Tiny85 does not support SPI or I2C communication. Instead, it has a special module called USI Universal Serial Interface, which can be used to perform specific like SPI or I2C functions. For that, here we are going to implement software serial. So this is pretty easy to do. You just need to import the software serial library and here we are defining the RX and TX pins of the 80Tiny that is you are going to connect these two pins of the 80Tiny to the Arduino's RX and TX pins. So in this code I am just printing v in v out.io. So let's see the output. If you don't know how to program an 80 tiny 85 you can go check out this video or I'll give the link in the description. Now let's get to the connections. I have already connected a few wires here. So I'll explain it. This first green wire goes to the V in pin of 80 tiny 85. This wire goes to the ground. And here I have two more wires. This one goes to the pin 0 and this one goes to pin 1. It is because we have defined pin 0 and 1 as RX and TX pin of 80Tiny85 in the software serial. Now we have to make a few connections to the Arduino. First we take the RX pin and connect it to the RX of Arduino and take the TX and connect it to the TX pin of Arduino. Now we need to connect the ground to the ground. Yeah. For the supply we are going to give the 5 volt from the Arduino itself. So this, this is the connection. That's it. If it isn't working, you can just push the reset button on the Arduino and it will display it. Sometimes it will only show uh, like, you know, uh, question marks and other rare symbols. So if that's the case, you just need to go to the file and you can click the bare minimum right here and upload this to your Arduino. Now take this code and upload it using the programmer to the 801085 and you will get the output. Like, Yeah, even I have there's some problem. Let me go and check that. Just uploading the bare minimum. Yeah. Now you can see it. It's working without any problem. Here we don't have any question marks or other symbols and it's going smoothly. You can see it. That's how you use the serial monitor of 80 tiny 85 using an Arduino. Now you may be thinking, what's the point of using this if we are using an Arduino to see? Think about it like this, we are actually reading the data from another microcontroller which doesn't have this interface. So now you can determine the threshold values and set it accordingly for different sensors. So next let's, next let's, next let's, next let's see how we can read data from a potentiometer for an 80 tiny 85. Let's connect the potentiometer to the e setup. So I'm going to connect the signal pin to A3 of 801085 or digital pin 3. This goes to the VCC right and this pin goes to the ground. Now everything is connected, now let's go and check it. I have made a few changes here. Uh, you can see we are going to read the digital pin 3 here. I have set the digital pin 3 as input and we will be reading it right here. So let's go and check it out. After connecting everything and uploading the code, let's go and check the serial monitor. Yep. See, it's working now. 